You ever hear that saying, water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink? Well, after the Arctic freeze we had, it broke a lot of water lines and left a lot of people without electricity. And now I got my uh, water back, but I can't drink it. I got to boil it because it's been sitting in the lines for days and uh, getting bacteria in it. So we're under a, a boil water notice. Or you can use a water filter like this. It removes 99.9% .9 of bacteria. So I have to boil the water for one full minute at a rolling boil to kill the bacteria. And then after it's cold, cooled down, I'm going to put it into uh, some water jugs. But at least I can have some water to boil and uh, flush the commode now. I do have some drinking water stored up, but that's not going to last long. And all the shelves are empty. People panicking, buying everything up. And a lot of people without power, they can't cook. So they're buying up all the food and water and milk. Everything's gone. It's worse than the COVID when it first showed up. Fortunately for me, my sister lives out in the country, and she has a water well and generators, so I, I never had to worry about water. And this is drinkable. It's a little dirty on the bottom, but it's drinkable. It's right out of the water well. And I went out there and took a shower. So... I got no problem with the water. No bread. Empty shell. Fortunately, I just got through cooking that cabbage and sausage. Buddy Robert caught some redfish. I got that. So I have plenty of food to last for a while.